Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to add a total column to your column chart. So I have a year slicer over here. So let's say if I select 2022 over here, this is displaying all the months for that particular year and the respective sales amount. And it also adds in a total column over here, which gives us the total value of the sales for that particular year. So let's get started with this tutorial. So I have imported the sample data set over here. So this is my sales table over here and I have also added a calendar table. Now if you don't know how to create a calendar table, there's a tutorial that I have made on my channel. Please check that tutorial out. So this is the calendar table that I have. If I go to the model view over here, so let's create a relationship between the calendar table and the sales table over here. So let's go back over here and let's add a new table to our report. So let's call this as month name, month underscore name. We will enter all the month names over here, Jan, Feb, March. So once we have entered all the month names over here, we will add in a new row over here and call this as total. So this is going to be the total column, which will display us the total amount. And then let's add the month number over here one two three and for the total let's call this as 30 and let's load this table as month name and let's hit on the load button over here so once the table is loaded over here let's go to our model view and let's create a relationship between the month name and our calendar table wherein we have the same month name over here in our calendar table as well so if i go to the calendar table over here you will see i have the same column over here which is giving us the month details okay so now with that we have created a relationship let's bring in the um, month name from the month name table that we just created and let's bring in the sales amount from the sales table and let's create a column chart over here so as you can see we have a column chart however this is not sorted by month so what, to sort this by month, what we can do is let's go to month name, click on month name, go to column tools and select sort by column and select month number. So once this is sorted, let's go back to these three ellipses over here, sort axis by month name instead of sum of sales. So now we have all the months sorted and let's sort this by ascending so that we have January till December. And let's go back over here and turn on data labels from the formatting option. So now we see all the months over here, but we're still not seeing the total that we added in our table. So let's create a new measure first over here. I have the sales amount over here. Let's create a, a measure for the total sales amount. So total underscore sales is equals to calculate sum of the sales amount from my sales table. So this is the sales column I'm gonna create a measure to sum basically the sales amount in that in this particular table so now let's go back over here and create a new measure and call this as total sales underscore chart is equals to so let's define a new variable over here and call this as total underscore is equals to calculate my total sales measure that we created comma all of our month table so this is the month name table that we created wherein we entered the month names manually so what this piece of code is doing here is basically it is calculating all the sales amount and ignoring if there are any filters applied to this particular month name over here so let's close the brackets over here and let's go to the next line and type in return so what is it that we need to return we need to return so let's use the switch statement over here and then within switch i'm going to use the selected value function so selected value and choose the month name if my selected value is total which is the total column that we added in this month name if this is total then this needs to return the total value that we are calculating over here that which is total underscore else it needs to just return the total sales which is what we have over here okay so let's close the bracket here and press enter or confirm this particular piece of code and once we have done that let's get rid of the sum of sales that we have here on the y-axis and then bring in the total sales chart measure that we just created 
So now you will see that we have added a chart which is showing us all the months from January to December also included a total amount which is giving us the total sales amount. Now what is happening is this is giving us all the sales amount that we have in the table. Now we can add a slicer over here and let me change this to a tree map. So now if I filter this by year, this is giving me all the sales amount for that particular year, which is to 2022. And this column here is giving us the total sales amount for that particular year. Now you can also change the colors of these columns over here. To do that, let's add some conditional formatting. Let's go back over here. Let's create a new measure. Let's call this as format underscore column is equals to I'm going to use the switch statement over here and use false comma selected value of the month name from the month name table that we have created over here in values of the month name in the calendar table. So if this if these names are not present in the calendar table, which means that a total value in the month name column is not present in the calendar table. So if it is not present, then what are we saying? Let's use some colors over here, red, else, yellow. Okay, let's close the bracket here and confirm this. And now let's click on this chart, go back to our format visual tab, select under columns, Click on this particular FX button, which is conditional formatting and under format style, select field value and over here, select format column that we just created and click on OK. So the moment you do that, you will see something like these. Now, if I go back to this particular DAX code over here, you will see that we've selected if this particular value is not there in this particular uh, calendar table, then it needs to be red else yellow. So just to explain you in a simple manner, I entered the red and yellow values over here. Now I can replace this with the hex codes and confirm this so that I can choose the colors that I want to display on this particular visual. Now this is exactly what I wanted. Now if I select 2022 over here, this will give me all the sales amount by month for that particular year and also add in a total column here, which gives us the total value of sales for that particular year. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. You've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.